And you know, this time of year, you never know if we're going to be snowed in or if you could be wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I, I know. That's the case. It's like you have to have a contingency plan for the kids' costumes. Back up, yes. Yes. Uh, or the, the plastic bags to put over their feet with their costumes. We've you know. had plenty of those Halloweens. Uh, yes. yes, we have had some white Halloweens here in Salt Lake City. Beautiful right now, though. We've got gorgeous conditions, blue sky, mid to upper 70s. We are tracking above average temperatures for this weekend. So whatever your activities are, you're going to have nice conditions here along the Wasatch Front. In fact, the entire state will be nice through the weekend. Alta Albion Basin, still some snow up in the mountains and potentially some more snow chances heading into next week. But let's talk about next week because there are a lot of question marks in the forecast. Even with the most recent data coming in today, I am not entirely convinced uh, to have a ton of confidence in exactly how storms will play out getting into the middle of next week. Uh, more confident in how the early part of next week will play out. So by late Sunday into Monday, a storm is approaching from the Pacific Northwest. So we'll knock our temperatures down a little bit to start next week. We will see some precipitation chances, mainly pretty high snow levels. That storm is mostly going to pass to our south, though. Then we get into the second half of next week, and it looks like right now some of the data showing us that we're going to keep a lot of that precipitation off to our north. So high pressure here across the state today. Tonight at 10 o'clock, we're going to see some passing clouds at times through the weekend. So as you wake up tomorrow morning, 40 to about 55 degrees here across Utah. And then for Saturday afternoon, still some clouds across the region, temperatures into the mid 70s. And then no travel hazards really here across the state through the weekend. So things are going to look really good for you even through Monday morning. Chance of precipitation, though, does start to go up a little bit for Ogden Sunday night. Some widely scattered showers are possible by Monday isolated. And then again, middle part of next week, we are looking at that chance for some more unsettled weather for Provo. Your chance of precipitation is going to be isolated heading into at least the middle part of next week. And that's when we're by Wednesday night into Thursday next week, looking at some widely scattered showers and for St. George, you're looking at a pretty dry seven day forecast. Also isolated showers possible next Wednesday through Thursday. So for this weekend in St. George, mid to upper eighties, then we'll see in the seventies next week with some additional clouds, second half of next week. And for the Wasatch Front, we're going to be sunny and in the seventies for Saturday and Sunday, sixties start on Monday and then into the fifties with some widely scattered showers by next Wednesday into Thursday.